Last time, we obtained this result for a 650 meter long transmitter in the lower left corner of the grid and with the ionosphere on top. Since the ground is a good conductor, we can start by assuming that the ground is a PEC, as we've already done. Now in reality, this grid should extend all the way around the globe. But we aren't going to model such a large region or enough time for the wave to propagate all the way or nearly all the way around the world. So instead, it is helpful if we can make the grid look infinitely long on the right side of the grid so that we don't see any artificial reflections from the PEC boundary here. So here we have a PEC right now. To make the grid look infinitely long on the right side, we will need a perfectly matched layer that can absorb any waves propagating towards the right edge of the grid. For this, do you think we can use the same approach that we used earlier in the one-dimensional grid? If we think back to what we did for the 1D PML, we considered what conditions need to be met in order to have a reflection coefficient. Say if this is our PML region, we wanted the reflection coefficient to be zero. And in order to accomplish this, we found that epsilon two has to be equal to epsilon one, where this is material two and this is material one. And also mu two has to be equal to mu one. And we came up with a relationship between sigma star and sigma in the PML loss material. And we had a profile for sigma and sigma star. So what do you think? Can we reuse this approach? Or if not, what should we do instead?